Hello friends, this video on arithmetic progressions part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2. The amount of air present in a cylinder when a vacuum pump removes 1 by 4th of the remaining cylinder at a time. For example, this is the cylinder let's suppose and this is connected to a vacuum pump. This is let's suppose pump. This pumps take out the air. This is the pump and this pump take out the air. And let's suppose the original volume of air is V. Right? So let's suppose initial air volume that is V. Now after first operation after a first operation by vacuum pump that is vacuum pump got operated we have switched on the vacuum pump and then vacuum pump removed 1 by 4th air right the vacuum pump removed 1 by 4th air then the volume of the air remaining is if you see 1 by 4th air is removed then the volume remaining is V into 1 minus 3 by 4 correct sorry 1 by 4 if this is the current volume and from this 3 by 4, 1 by 4 is remaining, removed, then the volume remaining is 3 by 4 of V. Please understand this. See, let's suppose you have 100 rupees. From this you are remo removing 1 by 4. That is 1 by 4 this is how much? 25 actually. So the final value will be 100 into 1 minus 1 by 4. If you see this, this comes out to be 100 into 3 by 4. This is 25 and this becomes 75. Correct. So from 100 rupees, if you remove 25 percent, you get 75 rupees. So 1 by 4 is nothing but 25 percent. So if you are confused, you can take this way also. We do 1 minus 25 percent is nothing but 25 by 100. This is the volume you will get after first operation that is 3 by 4. After second operation, now for second operation, the volume will be this much 3 by 4 from this volume it will remove 1 fourth so now it will be 3 by 4 v into 1 minus 1 by 4 why because when i am going for the first operation that time the volume is v so i took v here and in that 1 by 4 is removed in the second operation the volume will be 3 by 4 because it is not v now it is 3 by 4 now so in this 3 by 4 Again, I have to remove 1 fourth. So, this will become nothing but 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 into V. Now, in second, third operation, after third operation, now the volume is nothing but 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 into V. Correct? Now, after third operation, for the volume will be this much. Initial volume. So, on this volume, it will remove one fourth. So the volume will be nothing but 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 into V. Correct. So if you see the series now, right, the volume, volume or volume of air remaining. So try to make a series now. This is nothing but V, 3 by 4 V. 9 by 16 V and 27 by 64 V. Let's find the difference. This is the series now. It's an infinite series. You keep on taking out the volume. If you find the difference between V and 3 by 4 V, what I'll get is minus 1 by 4 V. This and this difference. If you find try to find difference between 3 by 4, 3 by 4 and 9 by 16 right what I'll get is 3 by 16 this will be nothing but 3 by 16 you see the difference is nothing but minus 3 by 16 if you subtract 3 by 4 v from v you will get 1 by 4 v minus 1 by 4 v if you subtract 9 by 16 by 3 by 4 I have done the other way right so I got positive or let me do if you want I will subtract 9 by 16 from 3 by 4 right what I will get nothing is 16 common 
9 minus 12 that is minus 3 by 16. If you see here the difference is not constant. In this case the difference was minus 1 by 4b here the difference is minus 3 by 4b. The difference is not constant so I will say that this is not an what I have done here, I have assumed the initial volume air to be V. After first operation, the volume is 3 by 4 V. After second operation, the volume is 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 V. After third operation, the volume is 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 V. I wrote this in a series, I found the difference and I found that the difference is not same. That, that means it is not an AP. Let's take one more scenario. The cost of digging a well after every meter of digging. The cost of digging a well after every uh, after every meter of digging. So we have to tell that whether this is AP or not. That is cost of digging. When it cost one fifty rupees for the first meter and it rises by fifty rupees for every subsequent meter. So if you dig for one meter, it will cost you one fifty. For the next meter, it will cost you 150 plus 50, that is 200. For the next meter, it will cost you 200 plus 50, that is 250. That way. Let me write. First meter cost is equal to 150. Second meter cost is equal to 150 plus 50. Why? Because it is given that after every meter the cost increased by 50. Third meter cost is equal to 200 plus 50 that is 250. Fourth meter cost is equal to 250 plus 50 that is 300. See please read the question properly. The question says whether we have to tell whether the cost of digging is AP or not. That is cost of digging per meter. Cost of digging per meter is AP or not. It is not asking for the total cost. That's why we are taking finding cost of digging per meter. Right. We are finding cost of digging per meter because the question says whether the cost of digging per meter is AP or not. The question is not telling whether the cost of digging, total cost of digging, correct. Question is asking per meter cost. So for first meter the cost is 150, for second meter 200, for third meter 350, so on. So if you find the series, this will become 150, 200, 250, 300 and so on. Correct? Now you find the difference, this is 50, this is 50, this is 50. Since the difference is constant, I can say that this is AP. Let's take one more scenario. Now the question says the amount of money in the account every year. So we have to find the amount of money. When 10,000 was deposited in and the compound interest is 8% per annum. Right? So first year it will be 10,000 rupees because you don't get any interest. Right? End of first year and starting of second year you will get 10,000 into 1 plus R by 100 that is 8 by 100. Third year you will get 1,000 into 1 plus 8 by 100 to the power 2. Why? Because the formula is total amount is equal to principal into 1 plus R by 100 to the power t. And take the time frame. Correct? This I am saying not before first year. I mean before first year actually. This is starting of second year. This is starting of third year. Right? Please don't be confused here. This first year it says that from today to 364th day. On 365th day when second year comes you will get the interest. This is how it is. On starting of fourth year, not the end of fourth year, starting of fourth year, the amount will be 10,000 into 1 plus 8 by 100 to the power 3. So if you see this amount, if you calculate this 1,000 into uh, 10,000 into 1.08, what you will get is 1,0800. 
This is the amount you'll get. 10,800 rupees. If you calculate this value, you'll get something like 11,664. Correct? So if you now, if you see the AP, if you see the series, this is nothing but 1,000, 1,800, 1,160, 664. Goes on. Find the difference. This is 800. You find this difference. This is nothing but 864 and we can see that this number is not same this is not n so here also what we have done we have just used the formula amount is equal to p into 1 plus r by 140 and we have seen that amount comes out to be 1000 1800 11 sorry 10000 10800 11664 and so on we found a difference difference was 800 864 and difference was growing actually and the difference is not constant. Thus, we can say that it is not an AP. And the question was asking for the amount of money in the bank every year. So this is the amount of money in this bank from till first year, till second year, till third year, and so on. A note to know AP only first term and common difference is enough. For example, if I know that the first term is 5 and common difference is 2, I have the AP. I can say that it is 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 2, 9, 9 plus 2, 11. 13 and so on. If I know that starting term is 3 and common difference is let's suppose 4, I know the AP. The AP will be 3, 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 4, 11, 11 plus 4, 15, 15 plus 4, 19, and so on. So, to know AP, only first term and common difference is more than enough. If you know first term and common difference, you know the AP. So, in most of the questions, when we are asked to find various things in question, we will go through questions. The main target you should have is, you should try to find the first term and the common difference. If you find the first term and the common difference, you know the AP. You can find anything in the AP. Alright? So, as we have learned that if the first term and the common difference is known, we can find the AP. Let's try to do that. So, we have the value of A is equal to 10 and D is equal to 10. We have to find the AP. So, the AP term we know is nothing but A, A plus B, A plus 2D, right? A plus 3D, A plus 4D, in such fashion. So let's do the same thing. First term is A, that is 10. Second term is A plus D, that is 10 plus 10. Third term is A plus 2D, that is 10 plus 2 into 10. Fourth term is A plus 3D, that is 10 in plus 3 into 10. Fifth is 10 plus 4 D. So, so the AP will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and so on. Correct? Let's take one more example. A is equal to minus 2 and D is equal to 0. The first term will be A. Second term will be A plus D that is minus 2 plus 0. Third term will be minus 2 plus 2 into D, 2 into 0. Third term will be minus 2 plus 3 into d. Fourth will be minus 2 plus 4 into d. So this becomes minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. So this is an AP where all the terms are minus 2. Let's take one more example. Here a is equal to 4 and d is equal to minus 3. So if you see this, the series will be a, a plus d that is 4 plus minus 3, a plus 2d that is 4 plus 2 into minus 3, a plus 3d that is 4 plus 3 into minus d, a plus 4d that is 4 plus, this will become 4, 4 plus minus 3 is 1, minus 2, minus 2, minus 5, minus 8, correct? Let's take some more example. A is equal to Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.